Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the second video of this entire series dedicated to Azure Active Directory. In the last video, we discussed what is Azure Active Directory, what are the benefits and features provided by Azure Active Directory, how Azure Active Directory is different than on-premise Active Directory, and then I demonstrated you how to create Azure Active Directory tenant. In this particular video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to add a custom domain in your Azure Active Directory tenant. And then I will demonstrate to you how to add company branding for your Azure Active Directory tenant sign-in page. In Azure Active Directory, if you want to find your domains, click on Azure Active Directory and then click custom domain names. On this particular page, you can see the initial domain or if you have added a custom domain, you can see that domain here as well. Now, as we discussed in the last video, when you create Azure Active Directory tenant or Office 365 tenant, you automatically get an initial domain. Initial domain ends with .onmicrosoft.com. This is the name that you select and then it will add .onmicrosoft.com to this initial domain. You can use this initial domain for your users, groups, and mailboxes. You can assign them email addresses and user principal names with this initial domain. Now, if you want to create a user, so as of now, here you can see next to username, you can type the username here, for example, test. And here you can see only the initial domain. That means you can, as of now, you can assign only this initial domain for the user principal name and for email addresses but let's say i want to use my on domain so in that case you will go back to azure active directory and then go to custom domain names and here click add custom domain now here you need to type the name of your custom domain and then click add domain now it will ask you to verify this domain. So you can verify this domain with the help of either TXT record or the MX record. And first you need to log in to your domain provider portal. For my case, I have purchased this domain from GoDaddy. So let me log in to GoDaddy. So I'm logged into GoDaddy portal and this is the domain that I have purchased from GoDaddy. Now let's go back to Azure Active Directory tenant and now you need to copy this value. Copy this value, go back to domain provider portal and here we will create one TXT record to verify this domain. Name will be at and paste the value that you just copied from here. And select TTL value and click add a record. So this DNS record is created. Now come back to Azure Active Directory tenant and then click verify. It may take a couple of minutes for DNS records replication. So you can wait one or two minutes and let's try again. So now it is verified. So now I can use this domain. Let's go back to custom domain names. Now here you can see this is my initial domain and this is my custom domain. Now, the same domain will reflect in Office 365 portal as well, in Office 365 Admin Center. You can go to Settings and then go to Domains. And here you can see this Office365Concepts.com domain. However, as of now, it is showing incomplete setup because I have just added TXT record only. I haven't published other DNS records like MX, CNAME, and SPF record. So if you want to publish all the records, you can click on continue setup. Here, click on continue. Now this will ask you to verify these records. So to verify all these records, you just need to copy the value, go back to domain portal, and let's create MX record at, give it a priority and paste the value here and click add a record. Let's copy the other records as well. Now we will publish the CNAME record for auto discover. 
click CNAME. Here you will type auto discover. Paste the value. So the CNAME record is also created. Now let's go back and let's add another TXT record for SPF record. Paste the value and click add record. So we have added MX, CNAME and SPF records. If you want to verify the records, you can verify from mxtoolbox.com. And here first you can verify TX2 record. So here you can see the TXT value that we use to verify the domain. And this is the SPF record. If you want to verify MX record, you can verify this way. So here you can see the MX record value is also published. Now let's verify the CNAME value or the auto discover value. So that will be auto discover dot domain.com and this is also published to autodiscover.outlook.com so let's go back to office 365 tenant and let's click continue so now this domain is completely verified and it is the setup is completed click on done go back to domains now here you can see this domain health is showing healthy so now if you go to users and if you want to create a new user here you can see both the domains custom domain and the initial domain as well if you want now you can assign this domain to the users the other thing that i want to demonstrate to you is how to add company branding to the sign up page or the sign in page for your azure active directory tenant for example if you log into portal.office.com you can see this sign in page where it is showing microsoft and uh, rest it is not showing any information but if you want to customize this page uh, you can change the background image like instead of microsoft you can publish your company's name here you can use your company's logo here instead of microsoft you can add your company's banner and even you can add the help desk email address or the contact number so that users can contact them in case they are not able to log in. So with the help of company branding, you can customize the entire signing page. So let me show you how to achieve this. You will click on Azure Active Directory and then you will go to company branding. And then you will click configure. On configure company branding, you will see lots of options. So let's discuss all these options one by one. First is sign in page background image. You can add background image for this sign in page. As of now, by default, you can see this white page, but if you want, you can add a background image here. So from here, you can click on this icon and then select the background image. I will use this background image for an example. Next is banner logo. Instead of Microsoft, you can use your company's logo here. So let me add the banner logo. I will use this one. Then you can add username hint. For example, you can add here user at domain.com. Just a hint for your users. How, what is the format they should use for their usernames? Next is sign in page text. If you want to add a custom text for your users, for example, you can add, you should only sign in if you trust Office 365 concepts. So this way you can add a text that will be visible on this sign in page. Next, you can add a background color for this sign in page. You can add other logos if you want. And the last option is show option to remain signed in. 
when you log into Office 365 portal, when you type your username and password, and when you click next, it asks you if you want to stay logged in. And you will see yes or no two options. So if you click yes, it will store a session cookie in the browser. So if you close the browser and open the browser again, so you will automatically log into Office 365 portal. If you click on no, in that case, it will not save any sort of session cookies. But if you uncheck this option, by default, this option is checked. If you uncheck this option, in that case, user will not see that option where he can click yes or no for stay signed in. So this is the option that you can configure from here. This is also called keep me signed in. So you can configure it from here. So once you have made the changes as per your requirement, click on save. So the changes are saved. You can close this window. And now let's log in. So here you can see the background image that we selected. This is the company logo. And you can see the stay signed in option, yes or no. And here you can see you should only sign in if you trust Office 365 concepts. So this is how you can customize the entire sign in page for your organization. In the next video, we will discuss how to create users and assign them licenses in Azure Active Directory. We will talk about the types of groups in Azure Active Directory. We will discuss how to add members in groups manually and dynamically. We will discuss the group properties. And then I will demonstrate to you how to manage users and groups using PowerShell in Azure Active Directory. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe and share this channel within your community. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.